Hey everyone! If you're looking for a way to generate stunning anime images for free and without any limitations, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'll walk you through a simple and effective method to create high-quality anime-style images in just a few minutes. Let's get started. Step 1. Accessing the tool. First, open your browser and search for Focus Google Collab. Hit enter and click on the first link that appears. This will take you to the Google Collab page where we'll be running the tool. Step 2. Setting up the environment. On the Collab page, click on the Connect to T4 button. It may take a few seconds to connect. Once that's done, Click on the Run button to initiate the process. This step will take a few minutes. For me it took exactly 4 minutes and 2 seconds. Once the process is complete, you'll see a public URL provided by the tool. This link will automatically open in a new tab, giving you access to the main interface. Step 3. Configuring the Anime Generator Now that we're inside the tool, let's focus on the Anime Generation feature. Click on the Advanced checkbox, then navigate to the Preset drop-down menu and select Anime. The settings will load within a few seconds, and once that's done, the setup is complete. Step 4. Finding the best prompts. To generate high-quality images, we need the right prompts. You can get these from various sources such as ChatGPT, PromptHero.com, or even create your own. Once you have your desired prompt, Copy it and paste it into the text box within the tool. Click the Generate button and the tool will start processing your image. This might take up to a minute, so I'm fast forwarding this part in the video. Once the images are generated, carefully review the outputs to ensure they meet your expectations. If you're satisfied, close the viewer and download each image one by one by clicking on the download button. Now, let's move on to the second prompt. Paste your next prompt into the text box and click generate. I'll be using a total of 6 prompts, and in some of them, I'll tweak the settings to show you different styles. This video isn't too long, so stick around and enjoy the process. Now that the second set of outputs is ready, let's review them. All of them look great, except for the last one. So, we'll download only the first three images out of four. For the third prompt, paste it into the text box. Then, adjust the aspect ratio by selecting 1 to 1. Under the Styles tab, choose SAI Anime and click Generate. These images will be processed in about a minute. You'll notice a performance option here. This controls the output quality and processing time. We might explore this in the other prompt. 
Now that the outputs are ready, let's review them. You may notice that the colors in these outputs are different from the previous ones, this is due to the style setting we changed. All of them look great, so we'll download each one individually. Before moving on, let's modify one more setting. Under Styles, uncheck SAI Anime and select Focus Cinematic. Now, paste your fourth prompt into the text box and click Generate. This prompt might produce even better results, so let's wait for it to process. Once the outputs are ready, we'll review them. The second image appears to be flawed, so we'll skip that one and download the remaining images. For the fifth prompt, paste it into the text box and enter a negative prompt. This will exclude specific unwanted elements from the generated image. Click Generate, and let's see what we get. These results look unique, just as I expected. They turned out absolutely amazing, so I'll download all of them. Now, let's move to our final prompt. Copy and paste it into the text box, include the negative prompt, and this time, select performance quality before clicking generate. This is the last image we'll generate in this video. If you've enjoyed the process so far, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, I'd be happy to help. Here we go, the final output is ready, and as expected, it looks incredible. We'll download the best ones from this set. That's a wrap for today's video. We've explored multiple prompts, adjusted different settings, and generated some fantastic anime images, all for free. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos on AI-generated art. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.